Welcome back boys and girls. This series is called Numbers and Operations, Fractions. By the end of this series of videos, you will develop um, understanding of fractions as numbers. So today's lesson, our objective is to understand a fraction blank over blank as the quantity formed by the parts of size one over blank. So just like yesterday, I'm going to help you understand what this objective means and then I will show you um, how it works in the real world. Okay, so first of all, we want to look at our vocabulary, our math vocabulary. We have one of those words from the first lesson, which was fraction. And we learned that fractions are those numbers that come between whole numbers. And we had a new math word, two new math words, quantity and formed. Quantity is the number, and formed means made. We also want to find our action word. What is it that we need to do? And our action word is understand. Now, like I told you yesterday, I can't walk up to you and go, hmm, yes, you understand. I need to look at what you do to see if you understand. So that's what you're going to show me in class, is that you understand that a fraction is blank over blank as the number made by parts of size one over blank. And this one over blank thing, we are going to talk about in just a second. Okay, so yesterday we talked about um, fractions that were one out of blank. So we covered this yesterday. We're going to do it again, but we're going to add to that. Um, the first thing I want to show you, though, I want to give you a new piece of information. It's a little memory trick, and it's called nod. Like when you nod your head up and down, like yes, like do you want ice cream? You move your head up and down. Um, do you want a million dollars? You nod your head up and down. And I say, do you understand a fraction blank over blank as the number made by parts of size one over blank? And you nod your head because you understand, right? So let's use the word nod to help us write, oops, that was boo-boo. Let me start over. Here we go. Nod as a way to help us remember what a fraction is. N stands for the word numerator. Looks a little bit like number, but that's not going to help us much in this endeavor. So numerator over denominator. Now I am not showing you my head when I do this, but you can do it with me. Trust me, I'm doing it. I want you to move your head up and down. When it's up, I want you to say numerator. As it goes down, say over. And when you're looking down, say denominator. So look up at your ceiling and say numerator. Look front to the computer and say over. And look down at your belly button and say denominator. And let's do that again. Numerator over denominator. Numerator over denominator. You can nod your head when you're taking a test or when you're working on fractions, even in high school or college, people will be like, hmm, why is that person nodding their head? But you know what? They won't ask so much when you're the smartest one in the math class. So there you go. Numerator over denominator. So this top number here is called the numerator. This bottom number is called the denominator. And in lessons after this, rather than using the blanks, I'm going to use an N over D to help you remember numerator over denominator. Okay, now let's get into the core part of this lesson. So yesterday, um, I drew some fractions for you. We drew a candy bar that we were going to share, you and I. And since it's just you and I, that's two people. So I'm going to divide it into equal parts, which means I need one vertical line. And I'm going to color in one of those parts. And the fraction for that is 1 out of 2, numerator over denominator. Now let me show you something. The 1 shows the part that's colored in. The 2 shows the equal parts. So what I'm going to do over here for denominator, I'm going to write colored in. And for denominator, since I'm writing it, since I'm drawing my... Um, 
my candy bars in black pen, I'm going to write equal parts after it in black pen. And there's a line between them. So this one is over this one. Numerator over denominator, colored in over equal parts. And you can do that while nodding your head. So let's look up at the ceiling and say numerator. Look at the screen over, look down at your belly button, denominator. Look up at the ceiling, colored in, look at the screen, over, look down at your belly button, equal parts. And that's really important to remember. That is going to be so key for your success with fractions. Okay, so we colored in one equal part out of two altogether. So one is our numerator, two is our denominator. Now I'm going to color in another one. So now I have two parts colored in out of two equal parts. So my numerator is 2 over 2, or I say 2 out of 2. Okay, now I'm going to show you one more interesting thing. There is a fraction before this one. I'm going to divide this one in three equal parts. And if I need three equal parts, I'm going to draw two, that's right, you guessed it, two vertical lines. And I'm going to switch colors just because I'm getting bored looking at the same colors, although I do love purple, it's my favorite color. And I have nothing colored in right now. My denominator is still going to be three because that's how many equal parts I have, one, two, three. But I have zero of these colored in. So zero out of three, that's what that fraction is. Numerator over denominator, zero colored in, three equal parts. Okay, now I'm gonna color in one part. And so that fraction is one out of three. I'm gonna color in one more part, because remember we're doing it parts of size one out of blank. So I'm going to color in a second part and I just realized how much larger this part is than the first one. So now I have two colored in out of three. And now I have one more equal part. I have three out of three. Okay, let's do one more. Now you'll start noticing some patterns that I'm not talking about perhaps, and that's fine. If you're keeping a math journal or you wanna jot it on a piece of paper um, or take some notes, things that you're noticing, if I were you, I would write those down because I'm doing this in a very particular way because eventually we're gonna get to those patterns. I just want you to understand this really basic stuff first. Okay, our next fraction I'm going to do um, four equal parts. So I'm going to draw my candy bar. If I need four equal parts, then I need how many vertical lines? I hope you said three, because that's how many you need. So there's my four equal parts and my three vertical lines. So since it's four equal parts, my denominator is going to be four. And I have colored in none of them, so my first fraction is 0 out of 4. Now I'm going to color in one part, because we're doing this one part at a time. That's what this is here. So we're going to do one part. So that's 1 out of 4. Another part is 2 out of 4. Then another part, oh, I'm coloring really sloppy, three out of four. Of course, this isn't art, it's math, but still, I should try to be neat so I don't get confused. And then one more part is four out of four. So you can keep playing with that and keep making more and more and more of them if you'd like. And, but remember that you are to understand that a fraction, numerator over denominator, as the number made by parts of size one out of denominator.